So as I mentioned, there's only six gymnasts in this vault final, so three in each half. So we're straight back to B now for the last gymnast in this half of the rotation, Imogen Cairns. Let's see what Imogen can produce on the beam today. She um, did very well yesterday, and of course, she's already won a gold on vault this morning. Good extension and flight through the free walkover, and links well to the flick layout. Not a flicker on the landing once again. Another gymnast that works with good pace. We've talked about that. Obviously, the gymnasts want to concentrate for their moves, but the idea is to make the routine look effortless and easy, and she manages that pretty well with all of her gymnastics. It's a very calm feel to uh, Imogen's routine. She never looks like she's overly concerned about the skills she's performing, and even when she has a little bit of a wobble, when she recovers, she just looks, you know, like nothing's happened. It doesn't look like it's a worry to her. Absolutely. Remember, she's been performing um, probably most of the skills that are in this beam routine for several years, and so really thousands of repetitions have been completed. We've got to give her confidence. Ooh, an interesting mm. try at one of those spins. Did put the foot down behind, so possibly credited with a one and a half yeah, rather than the double? I would guess so, but to be fair to with Imogen, she used her um, natural ability to work out of it pretty well. There's lots of gymnasts that would have um, made much more of a meal out of that than she did. It's the one and a half twist dismount, so she's a little bit low on difficulty at the end of her routine. Um, but good work on the beam again from Imogen.